Hi, succulents fans, and welcome to my channel, The Way to Succulents. Anyway, as always, I would love to share my way of being succulent with you. And today, I would like to share the third way of fertilizing succulents with an organic fertilizer, that is coffee or coffee grounds. Why do we like to use coffee or coffee grounds as fertilizers? There are two to three reasons. The first is because when plants grow, they need the three basic factors is short for NPK. When you buy fertilizers, you will see on the ingredients list and there are the factors, three important factors, NPK. In my last two videos, I mentioned about eggshells, banana peels, and today is coffee ground. The N actually is for nitrogen, which is a coffee or coffee ground is full of nitrogen. That is one of the important factors when plants grow, they need it. That's the first region. And the second region is because, you know, when we buy succulents or plants from other people, and uh, they water them, but the water they use normally is the tap water, even though it's filtered. Uh, the pH number is uh, 8, but succulents uh, prefer to live in an environment uh, which has a lower pH number. The rent is normally from 5.8 to 7. Some of them even prefer with even lower pH number, for example, the snake plant. 4.5 is ideal for them. Coffee or coffee ground is quite acid. If we add some of them into the soil, which will lower or balance the pH number to an ideal environment for succulents to grow, that's the second region. This is the third region, it's kind of funny. People say it can keep the cats away from your plants because cats don't like coffee. It's like they don't like a cucumber. I tried to piss them with cucumber. They run away immediately like, what? It was so, so, so funny. Yeah, okay. But for coffee or coffee ground, we use them differently for indoor and outdoor succulents. For indoor potted succulents, we would use brewed, diluted, cold coffee. Remember these three things. You need to brood it first and then dilute it. What's the ratio for dilution? It's a one to one. One cup of coffee with one cup, one cup of water, mix them together. And the third is cold. You don't want to water your succulents with hot water. Actually, succulents prefer cold water. It's quite an interesting thing. And the good time to water succulents is in the evening and in the afternoon. In one of my videos, I shared about how to water succulents. You can check. I use no water and use the ring water. I don't use tap water normally. And uh, like I said, you know, for indoor, you use uh, brewed, diluted, cold coffee to water your succulents. You may say, why not coffee ground? Because the coffee grounds, if you put into the surface of the potted soil, the potted soil don't have the microbes. It couldn't break down coffee grounds to stimulate nitrogen to fertilize the succulent. So in that situation, it wouldn't work. So it doesn't make sense. Another thing is don't put a layer of succulent ground on the surface of the potted soil. Like I said, it wouldn't work. Another bad thing is, you know, the coffee ground absorb water better even than soil. If you put them on the surface of the pot, it composes a really good environment for pests like uh, snakes, uh, snails, uh, or even mealybugs. That's dangerous uh, for your succulents. So let me repeat. Uh, indoor succulents, uh, you use uh, brewed, diluted, uh, cold coffee to water them. I always use a uh, soaking method. You may say, wait, how much water I need, how much coffee I need in that situation. I don't drink coffee. Where can I get the coffee? You know, sometimes you can just go to a coffee store and ask them for some coffee grounds. They're happy to get rid of them, so they are willing to give you those coffee grounds. 
easy. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, but、uh, when I grow my succulents outdoor, and I would like to ask them for some. I'm kind of like, don't feel embarrassed with anything. <laughs> In Chinese, it's big fix or thick fix. I don't know whether it's true or not. I don't have big or thick fix. Whatever. And for outdoor, we use、uh, coffee grounds. It depends on like、uh, how big your land is and、uh, how many coffee grounds you have. Like I said, even if you don't have a lot of coffee grounds, you can easily ask for some from coffee stores and just、uh, scatter around the, the surface of the soil because it's outdoor and、uh, the soil has、uh, microbes. It would get、uh, break down. Easily, so the nitrogen would benefit the soil, benefit the succulents a lot. In that situation, use it. And the third way to use the coffee grounds is just put them into the compost. Ah,、uh, it's really really helpful to speed up the whole process of compost. Like where I live in Wisconsin, I need around the six to nine months to have one load of compost. But with these coffee grounds, you don't need to have a lot of them. If it's too much nitrogen, is not good for your plants or succulents either. The coffee grounds it will speed up the whole compost process, which is like half of the time. Of course, in the really warm, nice weather. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Tada! Look, I bought this lady. She's in yellow top. I love yellow, and、uh, I would call her another way. I would like to make a succulent skirt for her. And in my next video, I would show you how to I make a skirt for another way. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. If you like it, please hit the love button, and you are welcome to share my video with other people. Looking forward to see you next time with another way. Bye for now.